Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. Uh, today, markets moved as expected. Uh, GIF Nifty indicating much higher opening. I told you that may not be, you know, uh, possible because you know the uh, it was indicating because of the global queues. But actually, market opened higher and then came under selling pressure. And today, Bank Nifty expiry. And that's why the bank nifty moved very violently on all the sides. Today, banking stocks started coming down, but IT stocks went up. And though other banking stocks came down, HDFC bank was very, very firm. So that's why the fall was not very big. So in a way, it is a consolidation, but nifty with a positive bias, but bank nifty with a negative bias. I think today autos, financials, in fact, today the broader market has done well. The large caps did not do well. So if not for uh, H, uh, HDFC bank and Reliance, market would have fallen even more. So anyway, so as I told you, uh, my assessment is that we have run up too much, too fast, too furious, too ferocious, you can say whatever it is. Uh, but markets need some kind of a consolidation. And again, uh, any dip is a buying opportunity. The market still has got a steam left to go higher. But however, you have to remember, you know, uh, sometime. Uh, if I'm not wrong, last year, you know, uh, until middle of uh, December, markets were very good. And after that started falling, uh, the year in defect. Okay, uh, today uh, actually market nifty touched a low uh, just before 130, just before European markets open. But European market actually opened higher, the US futures were also higher. And then after that, you know, intraday nifty shot up more than 100 point. So, you know, all because of the, you know, violent move in bank nifty due to expiry. So, Tomorrow is a weekly expiry, so nifty expiry, so it will be more interesting, uh, but it's, uh, uh, how, how would I say, uh, I normally tell my workshop participants, you know, uh, to trade in long term options and all the people who are trading in long term options, they are in big trouble now. Call prices keep shooting up and up and up, but put prices are not at all coming down. If call price go up by 100 rupees put price is coming down only by 10 rupees, 15 rupees. And this is happening on, almost on a day to day basis. So, uh, but my workshop participants know how to manage the things, you know, there is nothing much to talk today, uh, except that, you know, uh, 19,000, uh, like uh, 20,900 put option having uh, more open interest today. Uh, but half force 20,800 is a solid support. And uh, resistance, you know, the highest open interest is at 21,000. But even 21,100 call was trading around uh, 10 rupees, 11 rupees even uh, at the time of closing. So the premiums are very, very lucrative. Just one important announcement. So I am not finalized, I am just uh, saying. So I am planning to do one uh, webinar for option buying. <laughs> Okay, so you can say, how come a PR Sundar can becoming an option buyer, you know? So I told you, I'm, you know, uh, turning to technicals. I told you 19,530 uh, Nifty is becoming long. Okay, instead of selling a put, if one has bought a call option, would have made very good profit. But of course, my webinar is not about uh, this uh, positional one. So intraday option buying. So I'll keep fees very, very low so that, you know, people can uh, afford. But uh, remember, uh, whatever we do, technical analysis, it is about the probability, not the certainty. So do not have a very, very uh, high hope. Okay. If everything goes well, within one week, we are planning to uh, launch. Okay. So there is a reason also. Uh, that reason I'll tell you later. Uh, this is not the right time to tell the reason. Yeah. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.